Stamford, Connecticut is a city that has a vast variety of restaurants. Smack in the center of town is Sabatello's, an Italian eatery opened three years ago by its owner, Sammy Settembre. Known for his once successful pizzeria, Sammy has been struggling with this venture and is only months from closing. How we doing, guys? I was eight years old when I started. I worked at my brother Benny's restaurant, starting at making pizza. I always had a dream of a really nice restaurant. Hey, how are you? How are you doing, man? I make everybody feel like a superstar when they come to Subatel's because I'm a superstar, and that's why my name is on there. It's all about me. How are you tonight? Good, thank you. You're welcome. I've been with Sammy for two and a half years, and the restaurant was really busy all the time, and it slowly declined. And we need some customers. I know, I can't believe this. Usually we have a couple tables. We have an awesome, beautiful place. I think the decor is excellent. I don't know why people are not eating here. The food is good. It fucking kills me. Where is this guy? It was hard as a rock. Yeah. And it tastes yeah. disgusting. Yeah. If you think of something else to complain about, please get me. I'll be downstairs. The nightmare at Sabatiello's, it's Sammy. He can be really nasty. Tell him to fucking go to work. If not, go to fuck home. Hear me? Calamari, oh, me. to be honest with you, it was edible. That was about it. Thank God you didn't have a microphone with you. I don't want everybody to hear it. I think that if Sammy doesn't change, I don't think it would make it another year. Bye. Fuck out of here. Damn, eight meatballs in here. Why we put so many meatballs? Was your friend of yours? Man, you guys go bowling together? My restaurant's a nightmare because my staff doesn't listen to me all the time. Why you got to be a big shot with my money, bro? Be a big shot on your day off. Thanks, pal. And let us talk. I presently have over a million dollars in debt to this restaurant. I have a house on the line, and uh, I clean out my savings. Everything rides on this place. 25 or 125? 125. You sure? Sammy is very stressed out. When I look at him, knowing him for so many years, I can see a different person. He's just not as happy as he used to be. I should have been a fucking mailman, swear to God. I waited my whole life to step up to this plate, which is this really nice restaurant, you know? and. If I lose this restaurant, I lose my life because my restaurant is my life. As Gordon walks through Stanford, he catches up on Sabatello's most recent food reviews. Right, food review, Sabatello's. Uh, food mediocre, don't get robbed. The owner is the most obnoxious human being I've ever dealt with. Two star food at four star prices. Here we are. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, well, indeed, thank you. Let me get you a table. Maybe go upstairs and uh, have a bite to eat. Yeah, I'll show you. Yes, yeah. upstairs. Let me get a menu. I wasn't really nervous when Chef Ramsay came to the restaurant because I make the best Italian food in the world. I'm awesome, and it speaks for itself. Well, I can't wait to look around. My God, look at this. Isn't it inviting? Nice and warm. It is nice and warm. So if the decor's nice and warm, the host is nice and warm. It must be all about the food, right? My food is good. My food is very good. So, um, what would you recommend for lunch? My lasagna is homemade. All this is fresh, right? Yes, everything else is fresh. If it's not fresh, we don't sell it. The soup of the day is a? It's a, a wedding soup. It consists of vegetables and little mini meatballs. It's really nice. Actually, the best balls in town. It's awesome. People love it. OK. When Chef Ramsay sat down, the first thing I thought, man, this guy's going to be surprised. He's definitely going to do some kind of cartwheels after he eats his food. So... He's, got, he's got a few items he wants. So we start off with the soup of the day. Uh, I'm going to try the lasagna. That's homemade. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I'll finish up with a New York strip. How do you want that cooked? Mid-rare. Steak rare. Steak rare, excuse me, please. And how long have you been here, David? Three years. Three years, wow. Did you put his order? Okay. Did you put his order in so he can? I'm talking to him. I just want to make sure you take care of him. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. OK, so why does he interrupt you like that? Uh, I... Sometimes I'm in the middle, I'm giving like specials. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I got to uh, bring Dave in the... I'm like... Damn. I'm talking to the, the people, they feel like, what's the matter with him? God. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Sammy, he got no manners, and I think somebody got to teach him how he got to be when he's working. Give me first the lasagna, and then you're going to give me the cereal uh, steak. You hear what he said? Make it nice, please. You got that wedding soup, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, well, that was quick. We got the soup. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's hideous. Like a mishmash of bits of shit put together and brought to the boil, and anemic gray meatballs in there. Mm. How was your soup? Yeah. That's the wedding soup? That's to get him in the mood to get married. Jesus. I'd rather get fucking divorced. Oh, my god. And that's made fresh every day, is it? Normally, our soups last two days. Two days. How could it be soup of the day when it's soup of yesterday? 
And it's sort of, it's bland. Anyway, hopefully. Hopefully the other dishes will be better. Thank you. Soup of the day. You said the soup, the soup is bland, it's not good? That soup was two days old, but that doesn't mean it's garbage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is he, a fucking health department critic? Oh, my god. Chef, you say the soup is not good. Well, I can't throw the soups out. That's the rules. What I want you to do is take two lasagnas out, put them in the mic. Make sure the lasagna's nice and hot, Manny. I told him it's my homemade lasagna, my signature item, OK? Do the right thing. Lasagna, please. Manny, got dish one. Wow. Here's your lasagna. Homemade lasagna. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Someone drop it. Jesus. Here we've got, like, white bits of chicken or veal. But there seems to be something slightly synthetic and plastic inside that tastes absolutely hideous. And if that is homemade, I'll fucking dance in this restaurant tonight, start bollard naked. Because that is not homemade. Holy crap. With a steak. Thank you. What is that in there? That's the uh, ground beef. That's beef. It looks like canned dog food. Ask the chef where the uh, recipe's from, if it's homemade. There's almost a recipe de la lasagna. Which one? Which one? You want to know uh, if it's a homemade lasagna, where you get the recipe? My mother. And where you put ground beef? And uh, what was the? Because it's Italian lasagna. It's not a goddamn Chinese lasagna. It's a tough steak, not seasoned, greasy. The food is consistent. Consistently poor. What a shame. OK, I'm done. That's full of grease. Where do the steaks come from? Who buys them? Is that Sammy? Yep. The food is really, really bad in all aspects. We've been trying to tell this Sammy for a long time. But of course, because we are the employees, they don't listen. Having had a good taste of some bad dishes, Gordon heads to the kitchen to meet with Sammy and head chef Jose. Hi, guys. How you doing? Let's go through it together, shall we? Yeah? Soup was hideous. How old is that soup? The soup has been, like, uh, three days with me, yeah. Three days with yeah. you, yeah. It tasted like it. It tasted disgusting, bland, and everything was cooked to fuck. The lasagna, let's quickly go on to that. That was unique. Uniquely shit. That's homemade. Where is it? Tom, where is lasagna is over there. Yeah. Can you get me a portion? Why was it dry in the middle? Was there it sauce? Sean, sure. we proportion it, we cut them. That's it's frozen. He it says, it yeah. says it's frozen. How old is that? That's the lasagna I make the last week of priority. We make three trays of lasagna at a time, and then we proportion them, and then we freeze them. We right. take some up as we need them. OK, so it's not fresh. That's what I'm trying to say. But does right. it mean it's bad? It's a... Does it mean it's bad? I'm Italian, man. Here's a guy from Scotland. What the fuck's he know about lasagna? Does any chef throw food away if it's not bad? Can't answer that, Mr. Ramsey. Any chef? Yes. Yeah. Hello? You're going to throw it away? Should I answer it, or are you going to fucking... No, uh, fucking tell me. Go ahead, uh, fucking tell me. Are you getting upset now? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. A little bit, maybe. Every not. fucking chef I know makes lasagna fresh every day. When Chef Ramsay started critiquing, telling me all these bad things about my food, I felt like, what is this guy out of his mind? Then the biggest disappointment was the steak. Who buys the steak? That's the toughest steak I've ever eaten. I dropped down on the steaks because my business has dropped. It was a choice steak. It's not my Black Angus. You're right. I love the way I you got excuses for everything. I couldn't do anything right. I mean, it was, it was amazing. It was very hard for me to swallow. I, cu I couldn't believe it. He said everything I did was wrong. You're very pumped up. I have am you ever thought? Because I believe we have good stuff. Yeah. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. I think maybe we're all, you walk up uh, on the wrong side of the bed. I get out the same side of the bed every day. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that food was bland. I, I can't believe you're telling me my food sucks. I can't believe it. I, I, I honestly think you're out of your fucking mind. It ain't, it ain't. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. I think you're a little too critical, overcritical. The minute you get down off your high horse and start understanding what the fuck's wrong with this place, then we may have something compatible to work with. Are you finished? Are you done? Am I done? I can't believe it. I've just started. Unbelievable. <sighs> OK, I'm going to clear my head. I wanted some, uh, some fucking, I need some fresh air. Yeah, want me to show you where the door is? Ah, I'll go through that one there. Thanks. 
He critiqued the shit out of me and just like really broke my balls. And this guy's out of control. You know, I think someone needs to put him in line. Let me tell you something, man. For a guy to talk like that in front of me like that, I can't believe it. And he's still alive, and we didn't shoot him. Fucking kill that guy. After a night filled with Sammy's excuses, Gordon decides to take a closer look at the kitchen. Right. This place is spotless. Absolutely spotless. Amazing. What the fuck? Raw chicken and cooked chicken. Where's Sammy? What the fuck's that? What is that? Yeah, it's called chicken novella. When were they cooked? Sunday we do those chickens. Can you get me Sammy, please? Yeah? Fuck it now. Same shit, different town. Sammy, have a quick look around the kitchen. Uh, the place is spotless, yeah? Very clean. Kitchen's immaculate. We try. Unfortunately, the shit I found in the fridge. What's this? Have a look at this. That's not the way we cook, is it? What have we got? Chicken franchises there. Yeah. Cooked. Sat there. Yeah? What's, what, and what's the matter with it? What's the matter with it? What's that set next to it? That's uh, grilled chicken marinade. We do it for sandwiches and for salads. That's raw chicken, Sammy. We can't put them close by each other? Oh, come on. I know you want to mouth off and tell me how fucking wrong I am and I'm a fucking meatballer, but that's appalling. What's this here? It gets worse. What the fuck is that? And why is it cooked? Because it, we have to make it raw and bake it in the oven. It's going to take too long. The customers are not going to wait. They're going to leave. Well, customers aren't here, so how can they leave if they're not here to begin with? It's a nice dish. People like it. It's so shit. I don't know. He comes in like his shit doesn't stink, and I was trying to be prepared, but he gets my blood rolling, and he's out of fucking control. Can you do me a favor? Can you get rid of the cooked meat and put them with cooked meat and the raw meat with raw meat before we fucking kill someone? He's right. He's right. Argue back. I'm dying. Holy crap. Yo, know, you know that, bro. Jose, you're killing me. My kitchen staff, they're not doing their job. Everybody wants to do something their own way, and there's only one chief, and that's me. Oh, my god. For dinner? Yes, yeah. please. Main course, I got a stuffed filet of salt, stuffed with a crab meat. The uh, New York strip. Yep. <laughs> Dinner service tonight is going to be outstanding. And I want to show Chef Ramsay that we really do know how to make good stuff. Jose, I'm waiting for table three. Is that salt almost ready? Thank God. What's this salt stuff with, Jose? Uh, I do all vegetables and imitation crab meat. Imitation crab meat? Yeah. Why imitation? Crap meat's too expensive. I like fresh stuff in the house. Well, Sammy don't let me do it. And everybody got to follow what he says. How, uh, how can we have a special on a soul stuff with fake crab meat? No, it's not all fake. We, we uh, Jose, you, you told me the crab meat's fake? There you should crab meat. I, I can't no, wait what kind of bullshit you're going to come back with now. No, no bullshit at all. Normally, we do put the long crab meat. We do. $28, you taking the fucking piss out of Sampa. We all make mistakes, you know? Maybe I cut some corners, but don't call me a liar or a cheat or a dishonest guy. I wouldn't be this far being a liar, cheat, and dishonest. So I think you should fucking take it back. I mean, hey. You're making me look horrible in front of this guy. You're my number one guy, right? Son of a bitch. That was a fish. That's not good. Okay. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. What's the matter with this? You say it's not fresh. You say it's not, it's not good. Well, it's fucking watery. Eh? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, though. It's not bad. Not bad. Oh, no. Come on. He spits it out. It's not bad. You're fucking delusional. It's not. It's, it's not. It's mushy. It's watery. It's not the right crab meat. Right. And it's fucking disgusting. You'll jump him down like a big fucking baboon and go, oh, it's good. <laughs> I think we make great food. If I didn't make great food, I wouldn't be here. So for this asshole to fucking tell me that I'm not doing good, it really pissed me off, to be honest with you. Watching this restaurant perform is embarrassing. Fake fucking crab meat inside a stole is pretty obvious. It's become the appendix of restaurants in Stamford. You just want to get rid of it and get it out. Bollocks. Oh, sorry. Um, I, I think I'd like to have it just a little bit more done. A little more? Yeah. Give me one. What's the matter? Listen, Jose. What's the matter? Cook a, a little more, a little bit. What's wrong, honey? Cold in the middle. 
Go ahead, put it in the microwave. Just put it in the microwave. Put it in a minute and a half. Come back to lamb right now. It's cooked perfect, or you need it more? I kind of got the idea that maybe someone just took this plate, because the plate's pretty warm, and maybe just stuck it back into a microwave instead of putting the lamb chops back into a pan. You need it more? Yes, thank you. What's the matter with it now? Yo, what's the matter with it now? He said, he don't want it. Fucking busting my balls. Now, wait, let me see. Now it's too much cooking for it. It's too fucking rare. And now it's too much? How do they want the meat the first time? Oh, my God. How do they want it cooked? Sammy, I don't know. I'm going to go fucking ask the lady right now. With food now coming back, it's a perfect opportunity for Gordon to witness Sammy's customer service skills. How did you want your meat cooked? Would oh, you want it rare? I do you want it to? medium rare. So can we make you another one? Will you wait, or you don't want it at all? I'll wait, but the thing is, is I don't want you to stick it back in a microwave. If it's not... No, we're going to throw that out and make you a new one. Nobody's talking about microwave. You're the one who's talking about microwave. They came out of a microwave. Otherwise, they wouldn't be, like, exuding heat. Do you work for a microwave company? You know so much about a microwave. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's all take a hike. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fuck that lady. Taste it, Sammy. Bullshit. Told me went to a microwave? I'm gonna make it. Let, let her wait. Let her wait now. I don't know if this lady wanted a free meal or whatever. I thought it was a total nightmare. I kept my composure. I wanted to kill her, and I didn't. Jose, it's not your fault. The lamb is tough. If you're even shit tools to work with, of course you're gonna create shit food. Here's a lamb marker. Bring it to her. Come on, my folly. <laughs> I want to see you cut into it. How is it? Is it still too rare? You know what? I'm done. No more chances. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. I just wanted to pick her up and throw her out. There's a, a right way and a wrong way of handling something like that, and she was totally wrong. She sends it back three fucking times asking her, how does she want to cook? Go out there and apologize to them. I don't want to apologize. I don't give a fuck. Let it go. Sammy. Sick of it. Go out and apologize to them. I'm actually really embarrassed that he that he made a scene with one of the customers tonight. Regardless of what happened, the customer is always right in a customer service business. So fucking mad. It sucks. I'm like so upset inside. I'm fucking fumigating. Tonight you look like a jerk off in front of this asshole. The real job tonight. You know something? Don't even make it none of Shut everything fucking down and forget it. I don't really give a fuck. Shut it down. Don't fucking do nothing. I'm so fucking mad. Tonight you look like a jerk off in front of this asshole. After a frustrating evening in the kitchen and in the front of house, Sammy has hit his breaking point. You know something? Don't even fucking make it none of Shut everything fucking down and forget it. I don't really give a fuck. Shut it down. Don't fucking do nothing. It was uh, one of the worst nights of my life. And uh, I wanted to strangle the customers tonight. I wanted to strangle my guys, especially in the kitchen, everybody. It was just a total nightmare. It was a mess. Ladies, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's not your fault. Thank you for being so understanding. No. I really appreciate it. I'm the person that apologizes for Sammy because he won't do it. And I don't want his reputation to be any worse than, I guess, people already see it. I can't believe it. I, I, I can't believe it. All the time he does this, the same story, all the time the same problem. Sammy, he don't care. I fucking lost it. I feel so mad. I feel so hurt. I can't get my staff to listen. I feel like running away, to tell you the truth. After an unusual evening in which Sammy shut down his own restaurant, Gordon has now confirmed the source of the problems at Sabatello's. 58 customers we serve. Not 108, 5 8. I've never seen 58 covers done in such a difficult way. You know that. Is that normal for you to go into the kitchen like that and talk to them like that? If I didn't go in there at all, yeah. forget about it. We yeah. wouldn't have 20 entrees yeah. come back. You've got no right as an owner to be so selfish and start picking on fucking staff or blaming customers. The problem is with you. Come on, are you serious? You agitate customers, you agitate staff. Why are you so negative? What do you mean negative? I try to keep these guys happy. I was in there trying That's to... That's happy? Oh, are you kidding me? Guys are making mistakes like... No, you got to go back to school. He said that all this is about me. The, the way the place is going wrong. Nobody talks to me like that. People come here because of me. People love my food. Sammy, I'm here to help. I see a guy that's passionate about running a restaurant, but fucking clueless. You're the hardest individual to work with, my friend. And each and every one of your staff are shit scared to tell you that. 
you handicap the kitchen, a menu far too big with two cooks in there, and you've got such fucking imitation material on here, they can't cook it. What do you mean, imitation material? That steak's not fucking Black Angus, 1855. We used to carry Black Angus. It's what you're charging for now, Sammy. It's not about you used to. $28 for a stuffed, rolled fucking fillet of sole with fake crab. Hey, you're a bullshitter. Yeah, I made some mistakes. I cut a couple corners. Why? I'm in a fucking tough spot right now. What the fuck? He would do it too, no? Look at the level of false advertising on your menu and stop taking the piss out of you and Stanford. Did you forget anything? That's it? So all this is about me? Of course it is. I've got to rethink. I've got some fucking ideas and some plans. I've got to get going quickly. But I want you to do one thing. And what's that? Take your head out your arsehole and get fucking real with me. OK. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Stubborn fucker. I don't need this jerk off to fucking tell me about how I run my business. Don't tell me that all this is because of me. He's full of fucking shit. I didn't like that. And next time that I see him in person, I'm going to fucking tell him. It's a new day, and Gordon has come up with a plan to get what? Sammy back on track. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Good. Yeah, good. Sit down. You look um, pissed like you're ready for a fight. Do you think I'm here to fight? No, I, don't th I think you have good intentions. You're a tough guy to get through to. I know, I know. You've got this defense mechanism that no one seems to break down. I came in early this morning to sort of talk to you, to sort of try to get through. So I want you to take me back to the beginning. I need to know more about Sammy 10 years ago. You ready? Yes. Holy mackerel. How did you get this picture? Because I had these under, under lock and key. That's the bit I like at the bottom. Only my own business, succeeding by 35. Uh, I always loved the restaurant business, working for my brother since I was small, nine years old, making dough to making sandwiches and eventually making pizza. Which brings me into this. Oh, my god. My brother Benny passed away seven years ago. Actually, get me all choked up here. This man's a hero in your life, right? And he's the one that really got me motivated. I love him. He was like more of a father. I mean, I would do anything for him. He was awesome. Do you miss him? Totally, because it's like, uh, like now I, could, I would love to call him and, and ask for some advice. It's like, I don't know where to turn. All has to come from me. I'm like, I'm bombarded everywhere. Yeah. I can't believe you got that picture. There you go. This was a huge success, this thing. That's how I made my money. That's how I, I bought my house in Greenwich. That's how I, I got this. Now I feel like everything is uh, draining me. I'm trying to keep this afloat. It's not a little place anymore. Over there, it was smaller over it. I had less people. Maybe I had more control over it. Now it's like, I don't know. Look at that. You remember that day like it was yesterday, right? <sighs> yes. That restaurateur gives students a taste of a career in the kitchen. He loves nice. it. That's you in you know, mentoring, tutoring, um, prolific position. Now look at the way you were dealing with your staff and your customers last night. And you know, it's fucking night and day. And that's where I need to connect, in there. That, Sammy. Not today, Sammy. I need your support. But more importantly, I need to get you back in love with the restaurants. OK. I, I, listen, you got my word. Not 110 percent. I'm going to give you 220 percent. I want that same feeling back. I want to be that same Sam. It's sad that I wait this long. Thank you. Please. Thank I'll you for your help. Thank you. Not so. Chef Ramsey and what he did really opened up my eyes. I feel like um, something's brewing. Something's going. Something's moving. It's the best thing I've felt in a long time, to be honest with you. Now that Sammy is focused nice. once again, Gordon nice. has begun to make Delicious. some menu changes for tonight's dinner service. Straightforward lasagna. First off, a small amount of bolognese sauce. Two nice layers. A little bit of mozzarella in the middle. Heavy ricotta on top. Nothing gets put in the freezer. In the oven now. OK. So we'll do a grilled filet mignon. Table side. A little bit of thyme on there. And we're going to roast it now in the oven. She goes. Some potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Now that Gordon has shown them how to prepare tonight's specials, he is looking for the front of the house to create some excitement in the dining room. Here we go. Two nice slices, not thin slices. Up, lift, bang, and away. And present. Great. This is just one small measure 
of you personally reaching out and doing something different here. Subatals has never done table side, so we're excited about it. Actually, I'm very excited. I got my confidence back, I got my balls back, I got my lasagna back on track. It's gonna be great tonight. With news that Gordon Ramsay is in town, Sabatello's is busier than it has been in years. But only time will tell if we'll see the volatile Sammy or the personable, friendly Sammy. I'm going to totally have an awesome night tonight. When people walk out tonight, they're going to be thinking, wow, is that Sammy? What a difference. We got two specials for tonight. We got a nice baked lasagna. Also, I got a nice black Angus filet mignon. You don't even need a steak knife, by the way. I tried the filet mignon, OK? Take your time. I'm very excited for tonight. I feel comfortable to go to the tables and sell the food. We're gonna get, yeah, the filet. Thank you. How are we doing, Jose? Can you do that 13, table 13? And what about 15? You got one for 15, which is three? This man has to talk. He doesn't open up the I know, I know. He always and in one hour's time, we're gonna be fucked. Look, uh, Jose, come on, man. Help me out. Don't rush me to get to the table out. When you rush, nothing is good. Thank you, bro. All right, up the stairs, please. Be careful. Is this yeah. medium? Actually, you know what? That's really rare. <laughs> Want me to cook a little more? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. I'm sorry. Not a problem. Just give me a few minutes, all right? Oh, no. The medium, no medium grab. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake. This is supposed to be medium, bro. Come on. Don't let me down, Jose. Come on, quick. He's, like, completely behind already. Hi. My husband's steak is raw inside. Do you want me to cook more? It's totally yeah. Take it with the next. Okay. You're welcome. You want a little cook a little That's more? Medium. Yeah. I asked for medium. Put this Please. back in the room, medium. Medium. Room. No, no. What happens? Who wants no. a medium that's safe? What's it say on the ticket? It said medium. Just read the ticket, pal. It's very simple. Although dinner service started out with a very cool, calm Sammy, problems in the kitchen have brought out the old Sammy. God damn it! He's doing the middle line. He's serving it out. I'm tired of fucking excuses. I'm taking all the blame here. I look like a fucking jerk off this whole fucking town. I'm tired of it. Jose is not communicating. He's trying to do everything himself. In turn, slowing the restaurant down and making me look bad and making me go under. I am not gonna let that happen. Jose, just make the food. Damn it. I'm fucking believable. Jose, just make the food, damn it. Although Sammy may have been the main cause of the problems last night. You don't lose, I lose. I lose everything here. Tonight, head chef Jose and the kitchen staff have dug a hole for the restaurant that is virtually impossible to get out of. You guys are not communicating. I told you, he's so thankful. You see what ticket? Ask him, what are you working on? Yes, sir. Say, no, call me. Let me know that you hear me. Yes, Sammy, I got it. I don't know you're listening. It was just a total nightmare. It was a mess. It's a real mess. Nobody had their act together. Nobody knew what they were doing. We kept getting in the weeds. We kept getting behind. Yes. Out in the dining room, the customers continue to feel the effects of the problems in the kitchen. You want me to cook a little more? A little bit more would be good. Sure. For you, it's fine. Right? I know you, you said you had a hard time doing. I'm, I'm me. Yeah, don't worry. Thanks. No problem. What's wrong? Well, Say medium. Oh, fuck so me. Now, fuck it now. Hey, now, listen, you've got to listen to me now. It's not good enough, Jose. Medium requested. No more excuses. Come on. you got to communicate better. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my fucking shirt. Everything I ever fucking worked for is being shot down the tube and being laughing stock of fucking Stanford. Who the fuck wants that? We've been here for hours. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, we're hungry. Jose, let him do the vegetables. Damn it. Man, you don't let Jose do all the work because he's too goddamn slow. We're losing everything here. He speaks Spanish, talking to Spanish. I don't care. Yo, can you can we do 61? I can't. It's not cooked as long as Do 63. Don't even, why don't we finish the tickets you have in fucking front of you? Don't even grab these tickets. Do 63. Get it going. It's going already? No, it's coming we need now. it now. We need it now. You it's got it going? Up. It's coming now. Yeah, we need it now. Jose, we can't keep these people fucking waiting. You're better than that, Jose. God. It was a disaster today. This is one of the worst nights I've ever had. Yeah, sit down. Another night, another rough service, and Sabatello's is clearly running out of time. The big issue here is the kitchen. You have had a relationship with that guy for 13 or 14 years. 
It's like a married couple, yeah? You've switched off from each other. You bark, he ignores. I'm not happy with him, you know something? I have been too lazy letting him do everything and not checking up on him. I'm really starting to open up my eyes. I can't count on this fucking guy anymore. Well, the fucking truth, I can't count on him. And tonight, I thought it was gonna be so easy with steaks. You send a meeting out of the fucking rare. Every ring came back rare. Any asshole can cook steaks. I'm glad you say it. I gotta do something different. You're absolutely right. And the more comfortable I get with this jerk off, the more, the more they take advantage of me. But I'll be honest with you, he doesn't step up to the plate tomorrow, let him go get somebody to place it. It breaks my heart. What all the fucking truth? I'm tired of it. That's that what pisses me off. That is exactly what I wanted to hear in the middle of service. And I'm not going to count on Jose doing the job anymore and just sit back and let this guy do what he want. Ain't happening. It's either I make changes now or I fail. I don't want to fail. After witnessing two failed dinner services, Gordon spent the night devising a plan to alleviate the problems in the kitchen. Let's discuss. Menu. OK, there we are. Well, wow. Now, the secret behind this is we're going to streamline the menu. We've increased the meat. We've brought down the appetizers, the greens, the sides, desserts. Look at the size of the menu, Jose. That is done to the maximum ability of what we've got to cook out of from downstairs. This new menu is going to be more better for us to knock all the food out. It's going to be easy for me. Tomorrow, we're going to relaunch this restaurant as a unique Italian steakhouse. Sammy, what do you think? I'm blown away by it. What an awesome menu. It's so much nicer. It's smaller. It's more attractive. Got some really nice uh, entrees there. Really yeah. awesome. Changing to an Italian steakhouse totally made a lot of sense because I have too much competition. I think now we have something to show people. We're oozing quality, freshness, great steaks, great wine. Happy? I'm ex yeah. uh, Lauren? excited. Excited. Yeah. OK, good. I was very nervous. I had a lot of doubts. But after seeing the menu, I'm not so nervous anymore. I feel more confident and so prepared now to do something different. Let's go. With the relaunch dinner just hours away, Gordon meets Sammy and the staff to introduce the new dishes on the menu. OK, entrees. This is our selling point, the bistecca. We've seen that. It flew out the kitchen. OK, 14-ounce uh, bone in New York steak. Look at it. Six-ounce filet mignon grilled lobster tail. That, for me, is the heartbeat of this restaurant. If we can establish that kind of excitement with our Italian steakhouse, everything else will follow suit. That's our jewel. Dig in, have a taste, get familiar with it, and push it. Unbelievable, right? Try it. Chef Ramsay's menu, compared to my menu, is totally different. Mine was old school. Look at the way it's perfectly cooked. Chef Ramsay's menu is so, so innovative, so different, so new. I like it, and I should have changed it a long time ago. And I tell you right now, I, I want oh, you and everybody to make their food like that. If not, it's not acceptable. See where it's over there? Yeah. I want it to be the same all the time. Yeah. All right? And, and, and the appetites, I want it to be the same. I told Manny, too. And yeah. I'm telling you. Because you know something, man? I can't be nervous anymore. Where if I'm going to keep this place, I'm not going to keep it. If I'm going to lose it, you hear me? I answer that. This week, with this guy, unbelievable, man. Really opened up my eyes. Yeah. Not to just do the same fucking thing over and over. And look what we got. Nobody give me fresh ideas. Nobody helping me out. Listen what this guy did. Thank God this guy came. God bless this guy. You know that? It's my fault. You know that? Sitting on my ass, not trying yeah. to make a change. Yeah. Okay? Tonight, I'm counting on Jose. The kitchen has to function better. It has to happen in the kitchen. I want it to work. With a brand new menu and a community willing to give Sabatello's another shot. Hi. It's got some awesome specials tonight, homemade lasagna. It's now up to Sammy to show what he's made of. OK, and also the filet mignon is really good. I am so excited about tonight. Actually, I'm nervous and excited, but it's a good nervous. It's like having little butterflies before you go on stage. What I recommend from the grill is the, the bistecca. It's delicious. With the restaurant now focused on being an Italian steakhouse, Jose's ability to cook meat is put to the test. Come on, Jose. We're grilling steaks and we're cooking to order, yes? Show me it can be done, yeah? Big night. Got to talk. I got it, I got it. Coming up. We're going to split the sticker. How do you like well, it? Medium, medium. Well, it's good. OK. Big, big, big night tonight. It's relaunch night and a couple of questions unanswered. Can Sammy run the restaurant the way it should be run? And can Jose deliver on a menu that can possibly save this restaurant? Right now, I don't know. Welcome to Subatellos. This is so good, it's like m and going to melt right in your mouth. Wow, I think 
Enjoy, sir. Guys, enjoy. I told the guys, this is our last hurrah. If we don't do it tonight, I'm going to lose everything that I work hard for, my family, responsibility to the community, everything. All right, I like the six ounce filet. Portobello uh, polenta. Polenta? Yes. Sure. How's that? Good. As orders pile in. You got to start sending some tables out, or else we're going to be in the weeds. The kitchen is about to be put to the test, and so is Sammy's patience. It's a lot of pasta. Make me another one. We need to get this kitchen up and running and get the food to the table a lot quicker. You make the ensalada Mediterranean? Not ready yet. Did you make that spaghetti butter back? No, it's not ready. Can you fire it right away? You hear me, pal? I hear you, sir. I feel like I'm babysitting. I hate fucking babysitting. I got to babysit the staff. I got to babysit the kitchen. It's more like bread. bread. Oh, oh, come on. you got to listen to me now. It's stone cold. I don't know why. I'm getting really nervous. I want to keep the customer happy, please. Used to be good cooking. Used to be fast as hell. I don't know what happened. Getting old? And Jose's not doing the work. We kept getting in the weeds. We kept getting behind. Come with me. Here's my worry. 58 covers in. Second turn of service. Table's coming through. Yes? Yes. Service too slow. But this is not normal. This is fucking worse than Spaghetti House. Okay. Is that what you're doing? No. Come on. Fucking hell. I think Jose's kind of lost his, his sense of drive, you know? I guess me being too hard on him. I finally realized that we need to help him out. Show me it can be done, yeah? With everything at stake, Sammy decides to jump behind the line to help Jose. But will he make it better or worse? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come here, come here, come here. That's good. Bye-bye. Now, dude, I'm going to do everything myself. Just give me the equipment on team. When I'm over there, I need you. Not now. Fuck, I should do this a long time ago. $1,200 in my pocket. It's all good. Here, let's read the thing. Oh, my God. Jose, kill me. Son of a fucking bitch. Watch out, watch out. Todd. Oh, fuck, man. It's relaunch night, and knowing it's do or die for Sabatello's, Sammy has jumped behind the line to help. Oh, my God. Son of a fucking bitch. Thanks, tell me it's hot. Cocksucker. Thank God that my kitchen guys are uh, not involved in any bombs or rockets or decisions because we all be in danger. Put the meat back up here. You can't take it all. You're not fucking Superman. Come on. Waste of time. Put it, put it, put it. Jose, get it done. All right, you're killing me, damn it. I just want to get through it tonight. I fucking had it. I got it. Do, do, do another ticket. Let me do it. Dude, I'm going to do everything myself. How much longer would we have to wait? I'll double check on the time, but I, I would give it about 25 or 30 minutes. They're still waiting for that table at the bar. What's that? They got the filet mignon. How could you get about that table? Yeah. The machine printed it out down here exactly two minutes after you were in the kitchen. Which, which one you got? I gave you two medium rare, bro. You the right one, bro. They're confused now. Talk to him in Spain. Does he understand what he's saying? Does he understand what he's saying? I don't he think understand. he understands. He understand, Talk to him in Chinese. Well, this is all going to die here. I'm not on that fucking side tonight. So unorganized. We don't know shit. If they need you back there, you should know what you're doing. It's coming. I promise. They're just, they just wanted to make sure it was nice and hot. It was really frustrating for the six people at the bar, and they were sitting at the bar waiting for their food, and that shouldn't happen. How, how far behind is the... It's coming out right now. Here it comes. Here it comes right now. After a long wait by many of the customers, Gordon hopes the new dishes will be worth the wait. Enjoy, guys. It's really good, though. It's really good. Very good. But this is absolutely delicious. And I can't believe the change. Sabatello's relaunch ended successfully. Primarily because when the kitchen struggled early on, Sammy jumped behind the line and helped, instead of spinning out of control. Still shot with these guys. Give me seven on the fly. Beautiful. Hey. Hey. To a better day at Sabatello's. All right? Hey, good luck in the future. Tonight, making these changes to an Italian steakhouse, it was a step in the right direction. I mean, it was a new menu. It was our first time doing it. There, there was a few mistakes. But we're moving forward. I think I think it's gonna it's gonna only get better and help the restaurant. I'm leaving here with the Sammy that I've always wanted. Hey, look at me, seriously, big boy, a man that's back in control. He knows exactly what to do. Move forward and make those changes. I'm gonna do my very best. Yeah. Fuck you now. Thank you. Fuck you. Take care. When I first met Chef Ramsay, I thought he was an arrogant jerk. Yes, it is. 
And then I kind of saw the way he comes about it. He really does care. And he made me realize I have a purpose. And he got something out of me that I haven't had come out in a long time. And that's hunger, creativity. It's the will of doing good again. Take care. My God, finally. I honestly thought I'd have to wait for a lunar eclipse before that guy seriously got the message. And who knows, sometimes miracles can happen.